Hi, I'm Sanjay Nakchowdhury, Development Lead for the IBM AppConnect Enterprise product. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use JSON mapping with nodes which use discovery connectors. The enhancements were added in IBM AppConnect Enterprise version 12.0.10. So for this demonstration, I'm going to have a flow which is triggered when a new issue is created in a repo in GitHub. And the flow will be triggered using a GitHub input node. A, a message will then be sent to Slack and some of the details from the issue will be shown in the Slack message. So I'm going to show how you would create the flows using traditional ACE transformation nodes, such as the compute node and mapping nodes, which can be used to extract parts of the input tree and use them in the output tree, which is then serialized and sent in the Slack message. So I'm going to show how the transformation process is simplified when you're mapping JSON data using the discovery connector nodes. So I've already created a flow here earlier, which is using a GitHub input node and a compute node to do the transformation. And when I was constructing the flow, I found that I was not sure what would be contained in the output message from the GitHub input node. When I opened the schema, which describes the message which comes out of the GitHub input node, I found the schema quite hard to read to understand what the structure of the output message was going to be. So I created a trace node so that I could see the output from the trace node. And when I looked at the trace node output, I could deduce the location of the title of the GitHub issue that's created and the, and the issue number. So using that information, I was then able to add the ESQL statements in the compute node. Although I did find a problem whereby when I was using the issue number, I had to understand how to use a cast. So I had to open the docs and I had to understand how I could use a cast and then use that variable inside the set statement so that the message could be sent to Slack. It was absolutely possible to do, it only took like three lines of ESQL to do it, but it did need me to do some trial and error to find the structure of the output message and to look up information in the documentation. So it wasn't absolutely straightforward, but not too bad. So that was using the compute node. So next I tried using a mapping node, a graphical mapping node. And this was slightly easier. I was able to create a GitHub input node. I wired it to my Slack request node. When I dragged and dropped the mapping node onto the wire, it automatically detected the schemas that were needed and I was able to do the mapping from the input to the output to define what would be in the output message. The only fiddly bit I'd say was that when I was doing the concatenation, I had to add five entries in the concat transformation to specify how the message should be constructed that is sent to Slack. It was a little bit fiddly to do, but it was absolutely possible using the mapping node. Okay, so I'm going to show how you can do the transformation without using a compute node or a mapping node. And the final flow is going to look like this, which is simply just two nodes. It's a GitHub input node and a Slack request node. And I'll show you how to create this flow from scratch and to do the mapping. So I'll start from absolutely nothing. I will create an application. Let's call it demo app. And in the flow, let's call it trigger when shoe is created. And click finish there. So I have my flow here. I'm going to start with a GitHub input node. And I'm going to launch the connector discovery for this. So I've already configured an account and it's referenced from a policy project. I've already got the credentials defined in a vault. You can look at previous videos on how to configure the policies and the credentials for a discovery connector node. So when I launch discovery, we now see that I can Click on configure more events, select 
the event to configure. So I'm going to select new issue and I'll select the organization, which is a Slack user and my repo, which is ace demo. And I'm going to say, I want to check every minute and I'll save that. So I've configured my GitHub input node to be triggered when a new issue is created. Let's now add a Slack request node. I'll just wire it up to the GitHub input node. And a new on the Discovery Connector request nodes, on the request tab, there is now a map inputs table. So the map inputs table has entries where you can specify the location of particular parts of a message assembly and the schema which describes that part of a message assembly. By default, it has two entries, one for the input route and one for the input local environment. And you can add an entry to specify the location of a message in the message assembly. I want to process the message that comes from the GitHub input node. And there is a schema which describes it. So if I just simply click add here, then it's worked out that I'm using the GitHub input node. It's found the location of a schema that's being used by the GitHub input node. And I can click OK and it adds that entry to the table. So now when I launch the Clips Discovery Wizard, I'm going to specify a Slack policy project, which I've already created earlier. And I'm going to launch the Connected Discovery Wizard. And we have enhanced this wizard so that you can now do JSON mapping, which allows you to specify the message that is going to be sent to the backend connector. So I'm going to select the action to send a message. And it's going to be sent to a channel. The channel name is demo for new nodes in ACE. There's a new section here called controls. And by default, it has the option to define mappings in this area below. You can choose the option to use the input message unchanged if you want. And if you select that option, then you'll need a transformation node to configure the message so that it conforms to the schema that's needed by the Slack connector. And what I can do is specify the message that I want to be sent to Slack. So I can say, for example, new issue number. And now I can choose, by clicking this icon there, I can choose a area in the message assembly to use in the message. So I'm going to select a field. So I want the issue number. And that is shown here. So this is using the schema that is describing the message that's coming out of the GitHub input node. So I'm going to select issue number and then I'm going to say has been created with title. And then I'm going to specify the title of the issue and I can get that from, from here. So I can select title and another quote there. So this message will be sent to Slack. So I can save this. And close the discovery wizard. And now the node has been configured. So I'll save this. And I can start the flow exerciser. The app is deployed, the flow is started. And now if I create an issue in GitHub, Let's say there is a problem with the code in component. I'll just put X, Y, Z. And I'll just put in the description as well. So now if I submit this issue, I can see that this issue has been created, issue 33. And in Slack, I can see that a Slack message has been sent to the channel and it says new issue number 33 has been created with title. There is a problem with a code in component XYZ. So I've shown how you can now do JSON mapping on the node itself rather than needing a transformation node in between the two discovery connector nodes. This simplifies how you can use a transformation of a JSON message in an ACE message flow, which is using discovery connector nodes.